Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Clayton, welcome to Summit Auto Lab. Today while I was working, I thought it would be really, really fun for me to give you guys a tour of my shop and all of my cars here. So I took a few minutes and I lined my cars up super, super nice right here, right outside my shop. Now I'm gonna go through each of the cars and talk about how much I got them for, what year they are, what they are, why I bought them, the mileage, and all that. So let's do it. So since my cars are all lined up really nice, I guess we'll just start on this end. So this right here is a Ford Transit Connect. This one is a 2010. I bought this about a year ago. Um, I ended up picking it up for $6,000 and I have it for a detail van. This one right here is my personal detail van. I really like this van. This thing is perfect for what I need it for. Since my detailing company does not carry our own water, this thing is absolutely perfect. Now I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of the inside. I actually don't know the mileage so let's jump in uh, forgive me if it's a little dirty but it is a work vehicle so this van right here like I said I bought it for six thousand and that's mainly because it has so many miles it has hundred and eighty one thousand miles but this thing still runs great I drive it uh, almost every day that's what the cab looks like let's go check out the back <clears throat> So you guys can kind of see my detailing setup. It's a little messy at the moment, uh, but I built this little wooden shelf here for all my extension cords and whatnot. I got my power washer, my buckets, all my chemicals, hoses, everything like that. Um, I will show you guys the inside of the back. So we got all my towels there. And like I said, it's a little dirty. It's because we use it every day. But yeah, that's pretty much a detail van. Okay, onto the Cayman. So this Porsche Cayman is a Porsche Cayman S and it is a 2008 wrapped in Avery Dennison gloss dark gray. You guys know this car. We just installed that uh, wing base there. So I do have some more news coming about this base. It's not gonna be staying black. It's gonna be matched with gray and uh, we're gonna be adding some things on here. Uh, more to come on that. So this came in right here, like I said, um, it's a 2008 and I've almost had it for two full years. Absolutely love it. I used to have a base Cayman uh, and I had that one for about a year. Uh, but this one I've had for almost two years. I bought this car for $19,900, and that is because I bought it with 100,000 miles, and right now it has 113,000 miles, and it still runs pretty good. So this car right here, you guys already know, this is my car, this is my project car. I'm gonna be filming many, many more videos of me working on this car. We have a lot of really, really fun things planned. And like I just mentioned before, we have a quick update on the wing base coming very soon, probably within the next week. Um, and then we have many, many more modifications coming. Hopefully the car will completely change by August. Don't hold me on that date, but that's what I am going for. By August, this car is gonna look completely different. You guys just wait. On to the next car in my lineup. It is another Ford Transit Connect, but this one is a 2012, and I have this one set up to be my main detailing van. This is the one that my employee Bailey takes out every single day and drives around town. And as you can see, it's wrapped with my business logo. Um, I wrapped this one about a year ago, and this back when the half and half wrap was like super popular on Instagram, so I thought, yeah, hey, might as well. So this side is like a black digital camo, and the other side is white digital camo. I know there's lots to do on this van. Bailey was driving it the other day, and the fender just ripped off, so I gotta buy another one of those. But this one's set up a little bit differently, so let's check it out. This one may be a little bit more messy than mine just because this one's used all day, every day, but we plan on cleaning it here in the next day or two. So I have all of my chemicals lined up right there. We got some brushes right here. Usually towels hang right here, but the towel thing uh, broke off, but not a big deal. We got the same shelf as the other one right over there, and then all the odds and ends for detailing. Let's go check the mileage on this one. So the mileage on this van right here is 194,000 miles. So it's a little bit more than the other Ford Transit over there, but it runs just as good. And I bought this van pretty much at the same time I bought the other one. I bought them from the same guy and I got them both for $6,000. So that right there was my primary detailing van. You'll see that driving around Park City pretty much every day of the week. If you happen to be up in town, keep your eyes peeled for it. The next car I've had for a very, very long time. It is a 2005 Ford Explorer. 
Now this car right here has seen better days. It's kind of a little bit beat up, but I still love it. Now I've had this car since 2012. So what is that? Uh, seven years I've had this car. I bought it in 2000 and at the end of 2012 for, I can't even remember how much exactly. I believe it was about 9,000. Um, it's definitely not worth that now. And I bought it in Virginia. It's still registered in Virginia. But uh, I bought it with like 70,000 miles and now this thing's got, this 05 Ford Explorer has 129,000 miles on it. So this is the car that I had before I even moved to Utah. I bought this car in Virginia and then I drove it back to Michigan where I'm from, lived out of it for like three months and then drove across the entire country uh, and then moved here to Park City, Utah. So it's seen a lot of the country. I've used it a ton and I've learned a lot about cars working on this car here. I've pretty much done all the work on it myself. In fact, um, about a year ago it blew the head gasket so I learned how to do a head gasket and resurface the heads and all that kind of stuff on this car right here. Okay, so we've gone over the 2010 Ford Transit Connect, the 08 Porsche Cayman S, the 2012 Ford Transit Connect, uh, 2005 Ford Explorer, and now we have a 2014 Ram 2500 Mega Cab Turbo Diesel 6.7 liter Cummins. This thing is a beast. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted a huge truck, preferably a diesel. And uh, this last summer, we made this thing happen. We bought this thing back in August of uh, 2018. We bought this truck here for 39,750, I believe. So it's a 2014 and we bought it, it had 100,000 miles on it. And now it has 114,000 miles. So in less than a year, we've put uh, almost 15,000 miles on this thing. This thing is an absolute beast. In the snow this past winter, we had like a ridiculous amount of snow. This thing just plow through the snow doing like 70 miles an hour, just No way is this thing getting stuck. So this truck is more of like a nicer daily driver. We do use it to run errands. We have the uh, seat covers here for Sal to go in the back. But this thing is probably my like favorite daily driver I've ever owned. I absolutely love owning a huge truck. I just feel so on top of the world when I'm driving it. And uh, because this thing has the 6.7 liter Cummins, um, it's no short of power. It is completely stock. I've thought about doing um, all of the uh, emission deleting stuff and tuning it, but that's just a lot of money and I'd much, much rather throw my money at the Cayman right now. So maybe in the future we'll do some truck mods, but right now it's pretty much stock and I love this thing. So there you go guys, that is my whole lineup of vehicles. Now for the tour of the shop. So here we are at Summit Auto Lab. Please excuse all the mess, we've been working all day. I put PPF on a truck and tinted it today so I got all my tools out and everything. So this is the shop, check it out. There's not much to it. It's kind of a small shop, but really in Park City, this is all we can afford. Park City real estate is uh, very hard to come by one, and if you snag something, it's very, very expensive. So this workshop right here has been amazing for us. We're able to detail in here, we're able to tint, vinyl wrap, do paint protection film, and I'm able to work on my own cars in a heated garage with amazing lighting. And as you can kind of see, we're kind of bare bones shop here. We've kind of grown with the company. We've added things onto the shop as the, the company grows. Like you see this huge wall here. I would absolutely love to do something really, really cool on this wall and uh, maybe up there and on this wall here, but I don't have any money for decorations. I'd rather buy car parts and uh, supplies and vinyl and all that kind of stuff. And not a lot of people know that uh, I started these businesses with basically nothing. I started my detailing company years and years and years ago uh, with about 500 bucks and that's kind of grown to the point where I was able to throw some money at this business here. Um, it was still kind of bare bones, uh, but we've kind of grown as a business organically and I kind of add like those cabinets and uh, all the supplies and the artwork and everything as we grow as a company. 
So yeah, basically we pull in cars right here. This is our main work area and wash area. As you can see, we have a drain there and then our hose supplies right over there. We have hot and cold, filtered, softened water. And then we have all of our tools and detailing supplies and everything. We got some uh, boxes of tint down. There's more tint up there, spare tires and stuff for my vans. We've got extra stuff up there, American flag. I'm gonna be probably mounting that over there somewhere eventually. But uh, I need a ladder, I don't have a ladder. And then we have our little lounge area back in here. It's, uh, it's nothing to write home about, it's just a futon. And then my motorcycle's kinda in the way. Oh, which is another vehicle I need to show you guys. This is my custom motorcycle that I built from scratch. I bought this bike when I very, very first moved to Utah. It is a 1978 Yamaha Virago 750. And uh, when I got it, it was completely stock. If you guys wanna Google, what the stock Viragos look like, they're butt ugly. Um, I basically converted it into a hardtail bobber of sorts. Um, I basically use this bike to kind of figure out how welding works and how fabrication and stuff. I made these handlebars myself. I made like the headlight mounts, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, hasn't ran in three years. Need to get to it. Uh, hopefully this summer we'll have some motorcycle vlogs. All of this lounge may be nothing to write home about. It's actually very nice to have a uh, seating area here in the shop, even though our shop's not very big. It's definitely essential. And then right next to the seating area right here, I have a laundry room in my shop, which is pretty awesome. I do it, uh, this looks like a mess, but it's very organized actually. These two baskets are clean, those are all dirty. Basically, I use this to wash all of my detailing microfiber towels and then store all of my bulk detailing products, which a lot of you have been asking me to go in depth on what products I use and why, and that video is probably gonna be the next video, so stay tuned for that if you're interested in what detailing products I use day to day. And then right here next to the couch, we obviously have the fridge. There's nothing in it right now. It's bare bones, but uh, I need to fill that. I need to stock that. Sorry, Bailey, I uh, kind of been slipping there. Right here we have a little bathroom, which is essential. We have our vinyl rack. We have a little bit of artwork here to make some pictures of cars look a little better. This was made by my neighbor here in, uh, in the business park. It is a picture of a 488. He's kind of done an artistic style right here. If you guys are interested in this and really, really need it, it is for sale. And then this, uh, you guys may see is a plate of aluminum. More to come on that. That is actually going to be bolted onto the Cayman. Uh, you guys can figure it out or you just wait for the next video. So that right there is pretty much my whole shop and my whole fleet. I know it's not much, uh, but it's what we got and we're working with it. There's one last thing I wanna show you guys. It's right through this door right here. We're gonna run upstairs. And then we have an office. So you can see right here is my dirty office. We kind of use it as a storage unit sometimes, but uh, this is where we get all of the, the uh, up top pictures and we post them on Instagram. It's kind of cool. So here in the shop is where I write emails, I answer a lot of phone calls. When I have some spare time, I do some design work on my computer over there, uh, but mainly I spend most of my time downstairs. So there you go guys, that was the full tour of Summit Auto Lab here in Park City, Utah, and a quick tour of my fleet of vehicles that I use pretty much every day. I know this video wasn't the most interesting, but a lot of you have been asking to kind of show my uh, garage tour, which kind of includes the cars there and the uh, ins and outs of my shop. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos. I have. Uh, my detailing product video coming. So I go in depth on what products I use and why. And then I have more projects on the Cayman like that plate of aluminum in there. You guys stay tuned for that video. And uh, I guess I'll see you there. Peace.